How am I going to do this discreetly? Oh, oh, chaos. I know this is a very funny setup, but I um, it's early in the morning, it's gonna be an absolutely beautiful day, and I just thought, I, just as I have a bit of a chat, this is not sponsored, nothing I'm using on my face is new, most of this you've seen me use so many times before, but I just thought to save time, I would just chat as I'm putting on my face. My grandmother always used to say, I haven't put my face on. Well, I'm putting my face on. It, there isn't a great deal of improvement at this age but it does cover up a lot of sun damage hopefully um so um i'm just going to kick off as i say none of this is sponsored but you know i love paula's choice and this is her um moisturizer with spf and it's the essential glow i love it because it gives me a glow and it has spf and as you know my skin is not fond of spf which is consequently why i have so much sun damage I, the camera's here, but I'm looking at a mirror here because um, I need something much nearer because um, I need glasses. So I need to have a magnifying glass nearer. Anyway, slapping this on, having a chat. Um, gosh, that sunk in very quickly. I think my skin is very, very dry. This is in the uh, defense range, by the way, of Paul's choice. Um, and I do love that range. Anyway. What was I going to say? So, oh, I wanted to comment on last week's uh, vlog because you did so many comments. Thank you. It was a luxury summer wardrobe haul. And, you know, given the state of... Oh, bye, Myrtle. She's very, very... She's got my slipper. I can't even be bothered. Can't be bothered taking it from her. Um, it's going to be so hot that I think this is about as much energy... You're going to say hello? Right. Um, she'll just lie flat on the floor very soon because it's going to be such a hot day. But um, given the state of airlines and cabin crew, many of whom listen to my radio show and say that it's going to take months for them to train up new crew, I, don't, I, I just hope I'm going to actually get to um, Mallorca at the end of August. But I'll tell you something, I love London in the summer, I love it. This week I'm gonna take you with me to the Serpentine because they every year have an installation, an architectural installation that's absolutely free to visit. So I'm going to go there at the end of the week and I'll take you with me. I hope it's gonna be weather like this. This is Code 8 Concealer. So, yes, um, also I sound very bunged up. I've had worse hay fever this year. Don't know about you. Somebody told me it's the um, London plane trees that are doing it. Whilst I'm doing this, you can just see how much covering up I do need. Um, yeah, Code 8 concealer, I like it. Beauty blender, this is clean. It's just stained through uh, use, but it is absolutely clean. I do wash it every evening at the end of the day, because I carry this in my makeup bag actually, just to sort of, I don't know, I don't know, pat, I use it like a powder compact, I just sort of pat my, um, my makeup down. So yes, um, last week's vlog, gosh, all over the place. Thank you for your comments, because it was um, high-end luxury clothing, and um, 
as many of you pointed out, this is not the time to be promoting luxury brands. But as I pointed out, we can aspire to, can't we? I mean, you know, as I said, it's like when you walk down Bond Street, are you expected to go in and buy everything? No. When you read Vogue, are you expected to buy anything? No, but it's quite nice. This isn't working very well. It's quite nice just to to know it's there and to admire stuff. Um, that's my excuse. But I was so flattered with all your comments about uh, the clothes, so thank you. Um, what else is I going to talk to you about? So, um, this week, I am going, as I say, I'm going to go to the Serpentine. I'm actually going to meet my friend, after I've done this, I'm going to meet my friend from drama school in uh, Maribone for a quick cup of coffee. These are all the sort of things I do in the summer and I never do them at all in the winter because everything's a problem, everything's too much trouble. Now, this is Tom Ford, uh, this eyeliner. I love it because it's so soft. I really love it, Tom Ford. I don't know where I got it. I was obviously sent it because this is expensive and I can't, I don't spend that much on an eyeliner, but gosh, I probably will replace it with a Tom Ford because I love it. Um, the order at which I put my, so I'll put my first layer of mascara on now. This is code eight again. Um, will I buy this mascara again? No. I love Code 8, I love their concealer, I love their lipsticks. The masca this mascara for me is too wet. But in its defense, it lasts forever. Really does last forever. Do you know, my lashes, I often in the summer don't wear any mascara so I rest them. But I never use a, a lash conditioner. You can hear M Myrtle, gosh, I nearly called her Matilda. You can hear Myrtle making a noise. I don't use a lash conditioner because somebody told me that it can actually stain your eyelids. So I do nothing with my eyelashes except try to go as many days as possible without mascara and a bright red lip. That's what I usually do, but I'm putting this on today. Um, and I've had this mascara now for about a year. I know you're all going to say that's so unhealthy, Joe. I agree. Um, but you will see that I mix it with something else. So yeah, it, I mean, it comes off easily. It lasts for ages, code eight. But I much prefer the Lancome. Nadine Baggett actually gave me this. I love it. So I use this on top and I use it because it's got a, a much better brush, separates the lashes and um, I'll use this on my bottom lashes. You know, I always say, never ever over the age of 50 put mascara on your bottom lashes because you can end up looking a bit like a drag artist and i think that's down to the fact that our i'm generalizing here our eyelashes not our eyelashes sorry our eyesight isn't as good as it was so we just sort of bang it on which is what i do also i don't have the patience i just sort of draw a line under my eyes see i'm doing what i tell everyone not to do and it will look smudged. It will look smudged. So, uh, oh gosh, this is a bit clumpy. Matilda, that's the noise. Oh, I've called her Matilda again. Do you know I haven't done that for ages? Myrtle, you're making a lot of noise on the floor. I took her out uh, very, very, very early this morning because it is so, um, it's gonna be so hot. And after midday, there is no way she is going out. This is my YSL, you know all this, uh, brow in number one that just suits me more than any other brow. White Myrtle, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is, Myrt. Oh, by the way, we released a tiny little YouTube short of Myrtle how she was when I got her to how she is now. I know, I know she's growing by the amount of, that she eats, but my goodness me, she's got so big so quickly and I don't think she's even finished. Um, there we go, YSL number one. 
it's grey actually but it suits blonde hair um, pinch of colour this I don't even know why I do it it's a highlight stick it's their highlighter I just love the smell I love the texture and it adds a bit of glow pinch of colour all of this I've used for years you can skim through this if you're bored people watch vlogs for different reasons don't they? Some people love um, hauls and try-ons. Some people love watching. I love watching people putting makeup on. Not shading and all that sort of thing, just transforming themselves from quite a blank face. Gosh, this will go up. So I'm fiddling around here. Might have to edit this, Philippe. Um, I'm going to put a bit of lip liner on, and this is Estee Lauder. I only use a tiny bit because my lips. Let's face it, there are so many wrinkles. I keep wanting to get the stuff that Nadine Bagnett recommends, which is, there is a, a waxy lip liner, she says, that um, prevents all your lipstick running into each other. Um, so, um, I might wear my Code 8. As I say, Code 8 lipsticks are fantastic. Uh, I love that colour. They're so lovely and moist, I love the packaging. But I have succumbed along with the rest of the world to Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I've just watched so many people use Pillow Talk and apparently its appeal is that it is the same lip colour for every pair of lips. So everybody suits this. I mean, how clever to market it like that, but I think actually it's true. So that's, gosh, my battery's flashing. Have I been doing this for that long that I've used up a whole battery? Okay, right, sorry, very quick makeup. That's it. Not, I don't look that much different, do I really? Maybe need a bit more colour. Right, I am going to meet my friend from drama school. I'm gonna wear a really lovely dress, I think, and a nice pair of heels because I just feel like it and I don't have to walk that far. Um, and yeah, that wasn't particularly interesting, was it? Makeup tutorial. <laughs> right, I'm off. Outfit of the day, this is an Atelier 75 dress, very big, um, which is fantastic. And my Clergerie shoes, my Tom Davis kitten sunglasses, and my Paul Smith bag and I'm all ready to go down the high street. I'm in St. Christopher's Place and I yeah. am meeting my friend Claudia for coffee. She was, um, if you remember my Rye video when I went to Rye with my drama school friends, she's one of my long-standing friends from drama school. Anyway, we are going to meet over there in Ole and Steen for coffee. But as I'm in the neighbourhood, it's still Marylebone, this is still Marylebone, um, and as I'm going to show you my shoes, which are Clergery, have a look. Because whenever I wear these shoes or my um, Rattan wedges, people always say to me, where did you get your shoes? Where did you get your shoes? They are Clergery, this is Clergery, this is not sponsored. They never pay me, they don't give me discount. Um, but I like to support them. So this is Clergerie. Should we have a quick look at, uh, whilst I'm waiting for Claudia, what their, this season's shoes are? Let's have a look. Hello. <laughs> Such a lovely welcome. Just very quickly, just want to have a look at, I'm meant to be having coffee, but just this season's shoes. For this collection, we have some made in Portugal a special collaboration and all the raffia ones we have materials coming straight from Morocco oh from Morocco yes. so you know I've got a pair of Mor um, raffia 
um, wedges. So, um, yes, they're from Morocco. But, oh gosh, take these off. So, very quickly, because Claudia's going to kill me if I'm not over there having coffee. How can I not come? It's the end of Marylebone Lane, if you want to know where Clergerie is. The end of Marylebone Lane. But, very quickly, show me the, your favourites of this season. What are your favourites? My favourite one from this season are these ones. Kind of similar to the last pair you bought in white. Yes, yeah, so these are the... That's the pair I have that you yeah. all ask about. And this is my favorite one, absolutely. Oh my gosh, super they, what? comfortable and special. This is fabric and rubber. The color is just amazing, warm, super practical. The comfort is extremely good. I mean, I could walk in these like 10 well, hours a day. Well, I'm telling you these, seriously everybody, these that I am wearing are like putting on trainers. I'm not kidding you. They are like slippers. They're so comfortable. These are so comfortable. I know I'm doing a hard sell, everybody, but honestly, they are, because they're really light, you know, people say, God, Joe, those are really heavy, what you're wearing on your feet. They are really light, aren't they? Yeah. So, so They look heavy. The look is heavy, but the, it's like literally wearing nothing. It's yeah. a, I like to call it a fake heel. You yeah. can wear a heel during the day, walking around as much as you want to. But the comfort, the comfort is like wearing a flat shoe. It's like wearing sneakers, literally. It truly is. Yes. Oh, sorry, I've just every time I come in, I see like first of all, and then I'm going. Just look at these. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Amazing. <gasps> I love them. And they're in you know, a like a crocodile. And then look. So there you are. This is raffia. Look at that. How beautifully made this is a work of art this is and they're so light so those are beautiful they come in that and they come do you get many of my followers coming in here absolutely absolutely <laughs> i sold the whole line of these ones this is literally the last pair i have you can see it it's it's huge this is the last pair yeah. i have and when I came in, they just stopped them. So I was really lucky because I had my size. And um, yeah, that's the very last pair. But I'm telling you, every time I come in, and the brogues, you know, they were known for their brogues. Yeah. They are still here. Um, I'm going to have to go for coffee. But I just, truly, I don't stand to gain by this. I just want to share it with you because... Shoes are so important. If you're going to wear fashion shoes, you want to be comfortable. True. I walk through London in these shoes that I'm wearing. I walk through London. I literally use them like trainers. So, oh my gosh, I'm going to finish on this shot of the most beautiful. If I lived in Saint-Tropez, this is what I'd be wearing. Those ones, we just received them last week. Oh. The last two sandals of the season. Oh... Amazing. They're yeah, amazing. I I love them. Thank you. I think we're in for hot weather, you know. Definitely. Those ones are the perfect one for a vacation in Ibiza or Central Bay or Hawaii. Hawaii, did you say? Hawaii, yeah. Hawaii. <laughs> These are the shoes for Hawaii or Santa Pay. Wish on, everybody. Wish on. <laughs> I would be walking down here on my day off and I'd meet you and I'm so thrilled to meet you. Oh, Thank I'm you. not as thrilled as I am. <laughs> I am so thrilled to yeah. meet you, especially as I've got some makeup on. I'm always oh. meeting people walking around like a maggot. But what's your name? Yvonne. Yvonne. I'm, I'm from Cricklewood, which I know is your old stamping. So do you work here? I work in Kingsbury in a primary school. I'm a primary school teacher. So no. I teach yes, I'm only part time. I'm retired. Semi-retired. Now, so you're a school teacher? Yeah, primary school teacher. Only three days a week though. So I, I spend my Tuesday trawling Marylebone and Oxford streets. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not, to be honest? To get out of Cricklewood. <laughs> To get out of with the free freedom pass. Yeah. Oh, so how long have you been following the vlog? Oh, uh, quite a long time. You were in the studio flat, I think, but you were, or you know, you were already in the flat you're in now. Then yeah. you moved to the studio, yeah. and you moved back. So I followed yeah. all that. Um, my husband put me onto you. My husband. 
Chris is a big fan because he lived in Maryland. He grew up in Maryland, so anything Maryland, Maryland related, and we listen to you on the radio. And I was listening to you Monday. I caught your Monday party show. Oh my gosh, sorry. Um, just before I go out, I wanted to thank whoever recommended. Again, none of this is sponsored, but I was saying I dye my hands orange every time I tan my legs. These are my um, double J, la double J shorts. Uh, again, not sponsored, I have to keep saying that, but uh, la double J was part of my haul from Farfetch. And I still have a code for Farfetch, so you may be able to find um, double J shorts on the Farfetch. In fact, I'm sure they have them on there. They're so useful, they've got pockets. Anyway, that's not, not why I came on. One of you said get a mat, a tanning, not mat, a tanning mitt, and you mentioned skinny tan. I just got this in Superdrug. Nadine Baggage, you'd be so proud. I never usually go into Superdrug. Um, so I am going to, this is the laziest way, so lazy to re-tan my legs. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, to retan my legs like this, um, I'm just going to apply a quick layer. Myrtle, you're so interested. This again, I was, I don't know where I got this. This is years old. It's called uh, Believable Sun. It's almost at the end. But I love it because you can actually see, oh gosh, you can almost see I haven't got any left. I'm only just touching up actually. Um, first time with my mitt. Oh my gosh, how am I going to do this discreetly? Oh, oh, chaos. Chaos door and tap. Oh, I love this. It's like a massage. Thank you. Whoever suggested this, I'm going to answer the door. Hello? Hello? Right. They've gone. This is brilliant. Thank you. Whoever suggested it, thank you. And yes, Believable Sun, don't know where I got it, but I love it because you get an immediate result. Right, I am going out, but look how quick I can do my legs. I do is waltz up and down Marylebone High Street, uh, meeting people and having coffee. Truly, I don't usually do that. I'm at Dalesford with Anna because Anna's been training at Doberman over the road, and I'm drinking Dalesford organic elderflower, which is delicious, really delicious. Um, and we're only here because we're doing a quick um, catch up because we're judging the dog show on Sunday. So. Whilst you're watching this, the dog show will be taking place, but apparently it's going to be raining. Here's Anna. Hey, Joe. <laughs> In Sorry, Ole, show everyone what you're wearing, Anna, because it's LF Markey. It's LF Markey, um, quite old LF Markey, little pinafore dress. I'm going to so, come out because otherwise you're not going to get the full benefit because of the sun. It looks fantastic. I Thanks. Love it. Um, so loads of pockets. So pockets here and pockets here. So, just been training a Doberman puppy. And how did that go? Went really well, you know. Yeah, I'm really pleased with her progress. I want a Doberman now. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Can you imagine in your flat, right, no. but you show my eight-year-old legs and my 80-year-old face. Shall we turn around? Yes, thank you. How old, Jo? Uh, eight-year-old legs. That's it, definitely. And 80 year old face. I don't think so. And the legs are going as well. I mean, <laughs> don't be daft. No, you look great. I need to do something about these veins. And these are my La Double J. Yeah, I love them. These two oh, poolies, everybody. Boy. These are poolies. Good boy. With dreadlocks. They're just the most lo We know one in she Notting she Hill, don't we? We do. Yeah. And um, that one's called B, and she's white. Because yes. what's interesting is lots of people think they only come in black, but they do come in white as well. Yeah, so there's one in Notting Hill we've met. That's what I love about... I love this about Marylebone. If you sit anywhere in Marylebone long enough, <laughs> yeah. you'll meet every... 
literally every breed of dog will go past. You saw a bull terrier. I saw a bull terrier. I was trying to catch him up. Yeah. I was running to Joe's before. Anyway, we changed our meeting point. Yeah, so mm. it's lovely to see these yeah, two poolies. There. Lovely. Keeping nice and cool. I just wanted to say, I see you both, and you make me laugh so much. Oh <laughs> my gosh! So you follow <laughs> both Anna and and, and well, myself. But it's really, I really love watching every Sunday. That, oh, oh I'm so it's pleased. Just so lovely to see I'm so God, that's made our day. So, thank you, thank, <laughs> thank you, you so have much. A great day. Thank you. Oh, Anna, oh, isn't it brilliant? So lovely. Makes honestly. it worthwhile. It, it truly, truly makes it worthwhile. Can you guess where I am? <laughs> I'm back in Hyde Park. Oh gosh. Is it the pandemic? Is it because we spend so much time indoors in the winter? This summer, I seem to be at every spare moment in the park, Regent's Park, Hyde Park, St. James's Park. Um, and it's, oh gosh, it's such a beautiful day. and I. I walked here from Marylebone. It's like, it is like a moving meditation. Um, and it just gives me time to think. I've been thinking about everything. I've been thinking about my job. I've been thinking about my family. I've been thinking about my neck, how old it is looking. But there is, um, there is a reason to my being in the park forest. So this is very noisy. For those of you who don't know Hyde Park, there's, you can drive right the way through it, as you can hear. I'll walk down here, it might be quieter. Um, the reason that I am here is because every summer there is um, an architecturally designed pavilion that is just up for the summer, near the Serpentine Gallery, free for people to go. I've been going with my friend Ange, since I came back to London. So for about 20 years, every year we go and look at the newly designed pavilion. It's temporary, it's up for the summer, then they pull it down. And it is um, interactive, so you can sit in it and hopefully, I mean, I don't know, if it rains, you can sit in it. I mean, it's a beautiful day today. Um, and Ange and I, we always say, let's meet in, at the Serpentine. So it's been up for about two weeks. If you are heading into London, it's, a, it's really lovely because you're near the Serpentine Lido and the Serpentine Gallery. Um, and it's absolutely free and totally accessible. Anyway, um, I'll turn this off and then I'll film a little bit of the pavilion. I'm very excited to see what it looks like. Who's behind the camera? This is my godson, Sonny. Hello. Who's twice the height of me? I didn't know he was going to be here with Ange. This is a real bonus. Sonny, would you like to be my full-time cameraman? <laughs> well, if I could, I would. Yeah. He's just taking his A-level, so um, he's having a bit of a break. What do you think? Well, it's quite, you know, it's of a style, isn't it? And it's, you know, well, it's nice to sit down and. In the sun. Don't you think when it's raining, it would be lovely, the rain coming through there? It would, yeah. And it's nice how the sun kind of and is concentrated. Sun, yeah. I hadn't even noticed that. Look, his dad's a photographer, so you can see he notices.
It's really warm. It's, this is like where it's Grand Canaria. It is like, it is like we're in Heraklion. <laughs> Yeah, we've just left work. We well, are so monster, tired, like aren't we? I've never been. Hey? I'm so tired today because I think the heat knocked me out and I had hot dogs for lunch, so that... You've eaten was, a lot of sulphur uh, then. Oh, is that what it will be? Yeah. Yeah, well, I wasn't quite fond of the sausages, but I wouldn't have them again, but it got my, I was, it was my, I had my fix. I was craving a hot dog. Well, we, and I've been in the park summer. all day, you so I'm absolutely... You've eaten Look who's today. here. It's Dave. Got, oh my gosh, oh, we've got God, a camera look, Look, he is camera ready. He's, he's doing his hair. Well, now, now this is George. Your, hello. Hi, George. George. Hello, you're all right. Good. You're right. So we've got to look our best when we're on the, uh, the, the, the Minx I mean, National I Television have, Show. I start looking like a skunk if I don't get one after a few weeks. <laughs> so I need to sort it out. We've got to represent. Yeah, you have. He puts it right he's, in your face as well. You well, he's know. getting a lot of fan mail. Do you know what? It's, it's, this is the best <laughs> way. People like old grizzled cab drivers. <laughs> yeah, you this are. Is, no, this is lovely and warm. Isn't it? it lovely? What have you done today? Have you been out? Well, have you been working? <laughs> well, you've got your hair cut, but apart from that, did he you? He works 24 7, don't you? Yeah, pretty you much. Yeah, seven days a week, yeah. Yeah. God. Did you feel rain? No. I felt rain. Well, I, I mean, there are some clouds, but I mean, no. Right, George, right, have a great weekend. Dishy, you're dishy, George, aren't That's you? That's dishy, George. Oh, so. Dishy, I'll George. Bye, George. Drive carefully. Oh, gosh. So, George isn't getting a cab home tonight he is driving and um it has been a very very long day but a lovely day in the sun have you not been in the sun at all dave just my right arm's been hanging out gosh have you been busy is it being busy in london yes because nobody nobody wants to walk five seconds because it's so hot so, yeah so it's all like short little jobs and yeah uh, people with thirsty dogs and things like that yeah yeah my right arm is very brown, the rest of me is very white. <laughs> I won't hope you wear SPF on your right arm. Um, that is it. So I'm going to finish the vlog here this week. And um, Sunday when you're watching this, I think they said the weather will have broken and it might well be raining, which is a shame. I hope the hot weather comes back. Um, what have I got? Uh, nothing else to report. I, I, I think that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up because apparently uh, that fights the algorithm. I know I've, I've half this vlog, I've looked such a mess um, because I've taken to not wearing makeup, just a red lip, just to rest my skin and rest my eyes, really, my, my eyelashes. Um, so yes, forgive me. There was a time when I started vlogging that I always had to have immaculate makeup on and now I just, Take me as you find me, basically. Um, but it's a lovely warm breeze coming through the window. So that is it. And I don't know how many walking people we've got. Um, don't forget there's an email. If you want to film yourself walking across Carnaby Street to the Neon Lady, um, this is the email address. And I always look forward to seeing them. I never, ever know how many there are until Philippe edits the whole vlog together. So that's it. I am off. Say goodbye, Dave. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.